Do you ever start a game, a video of a game anyway, that you know full well has an intro sequence that's going to take up a third of the video? Yeah. Future me, can we just skip the whole the whole intro sequence, please? Just just. Oh what? Did you think just because I skipped that little intro sequence that I was gonna not skip this as well? Future me, continue the skippage. Are we are we keeping this cutscene? Are we keeping it? No, we're not. We're not keeping this cutscene. Oh dear. Well then, hello everybody, my name is the Humble Gamer and welcome to Mario Galaxy. Super Mario Galaxy that is. How did I fuck that up? Isn't it nice that I skipped past that entire intro, hmm? I just saved you about seven minutes there by skipping that intro. Okay, maybe six. But there you go. I probably dumbed that down into about a minute of footage right there. So, maybe less if I'm lucky. If I'm very good at it. Um... If I'm very good with the editing. But there we go. <laughs> that was that was the entire intro of Mario Galaxy. Um, and here I am playing it now. So the beginning of this game is far too long to start a video like at the very beginning cutscene. It just takes too damn long. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to get rid of the whole bloody cutscene at the beginning by skipping it. Um, so the beginning of this game starts by having you do a fucking hide and seek shit. Um, it's not that hard, honestly. It, it really does not take that long to do this. So, I thought I'd keep it. But I've been, um, wanting to play Mario Galaxy as a, as a gaming shenanigans video for a while. It's been in, in the list. Um, you caught me. Yeah. It's been in the list for a while. Uh, this game and its sequel as well, actually. Um, and considering that, like, the Switch was announced recently and Mario Odyssey was announced for it, I thought, you know, why not get this done now? Um, because that means I don't have to worry about it in future. Because uh, I never let's playing this game. Oh, there we go. Uh, getting used to these controls, like the Wii remote controls, is really, really awkward. Uh, the last game I played on the Wii was Pikmin, which was about a month ago. So, oh god. I'm, I'm trying to catch up to this bloody rabbit, and I can't do it. Rabbit? Rabbit, come back. There we go. They slow down eventually for you to catch them. It's like Nintendo was like, Oh, babies are gonna play this game. Oh, if only I had hidden the pipe. Yeah, that's where the last bunny is. So this doesn't take that long, which is why I'm not skipping it, but... You know, Mario Galaxy I loved back when it first came out. I watched uh, a couple of Let's Plays of this. Chugger Conroy LP'd it, and his LP of it was actually really good. Um... Oh my goodness, I, there was things up there. Okay. Yay, bunnies. Bunnies and stars and galaxies and man oh man. Um, the beginning of this game I actually don't like as much as the beginning of the uh, sequel. The beginning of the sequel I think is much better than this. This is just slow um, and awkward because of the fucking controls. There we go. Okay. I got him. Jeez. So I've been playing a lot of games the last month, just sort of preparing because there's been lots of information popping up here, there and everywhere about different things. Um, the Switch, of course, had its announcement in January and Ukulele yesterday finally had its update on uh, what was going on with the Switch version and everything. Of course, I'm not bothered by that because I'm not going to be playing the Switch version, I'm going to be playing the PS4 version, but I still have to buy a PS4 in order to play it. So... Um, they haven't actually opened up the surveys to change what copies of the game we're getting yet. I'm already getting a physical copy of the PC version, but I'm going to upgrade to... Uh, I could get a digital copy of the PS4 version for free, um, just change my Wii U version. But I'm going to I'm gonna pay the fee that they're asking for, the £20 fee, to upgrade to a, dig a physical release on the PS4. Um, because why the fuck not? I see no reason why not to. Um, seems fair for the uh, handling price, the handling fee it is really sudden, um, but you know there's not much you can do when a big old company like Microsoft or Sony turns around to a company like Platonic and is like, yeah we're going to need you to pay for physical releases, you know it just kind of, it's necessary isn't it. 
Platonic doesn't have that sort of big help that some companies have um, when it comes to funding things like physical releases and whatnot. It's not so easy for them. But um, I'm going to be getting a physical copy on the PS4 uh, when they put out the new email that they'll be putting out soon, I hope. Um, and I, I'm looking forward to it. It's, good. it's so close now. April 11th. Jesus Christ. Um, and then, of course, uh, uh, the Switch comes out March 3rd. You know, that's going to be a big thing. Not for me, personally, but... Um, because I mean, I already said I'm not getting a Switch, but the reason um, I'm still interested is because obviously I'm going to be watching people's videos on it when it comes out. I want to see people playing on it. I want to see what it plays like. I want to see what the games on it play like. You know, because you know you got to build a trust to something before you can sort of enjoy it and and trust it. You got to build a trust before you can buy something like that. You know what I mean? It's a brand new console. You can't. I can't expect it to be perfect on the first go. It needs some tinkering with and some time. Um, can I get this one up? Can I? There we go. You got one additional Mario. As if I didn't already know from every other fucking Mario game what that is. Oh, you probably heard my Wiimote making a sound there. Um, <laughs> I absolutely love this, uh, this game. It was so fun to play back when it came out and its sequel was such a good sequel. You know, I've said before about like games that have good sequels, and uh, you know, I mean it when I say like games that have good sequels, um, you know, have good sequels, because it's very rare that a game will have a sequel coming uh, come out for it, and it's like a perfect mixture of old and new to make a, a good game, because some sequels just are pretty much a rehash of the first game with like a couple of new elements in order to make a successful sequel it has to have the charm of the first game as well as many of the features that people remember plus uh, improving upon what might have been flawed about the first game uh, and you know uh, adding features that people might have wanted in the first game that you know weren't there or perhaps even features that you thought about putting in the first game that you didn't, um, that you can add in the second game. And I'm talking about developers when I say that. Developers of games tend to have like a bunch of features for games they never put in, um, you know, and if they make a sequel, they should always put those features in or try to work them in in a way that uh, uh, works for the game. So, I don't know, that's just my personal opinion anyway. I really enjoy... Um, sort of seeing what companies can do uh, with sequels because you know making a game is is you know a fantastic experience all in all but when you when you get a game that's successful enough that people want a sequel to it you you got to really build upon uh, what made your initial game so popular in the first place so that people don't shit on you um, and shit on your game and give it bad reviews Although, to be fair, I don't actually think reviews are that important. I know some people think, like, reviews are everything when it comes to a game. It's like, oh, if someone, if someone reviewed it badly, you know. I don't really get the whole, like, um, I, I don't get why people take reviews seriously. Uh, whether it's movies or video games or TV or whatever. Um, you know, re critics are critics you know like what they say is their personal view on something like you can't always take what they say seriously you gotta have your own opinion um, and sort of know what it is you want from something like I I'm, I'm always interested to see like what um, certain critics will say uh, about something um, but I'll never take it like completely seriously um, it, I'll sort of take what a critic says with a pinch of salt so, I know a lot of people loved, uh, a lot of critics actually really liked Mario Galaxy. Um, also, I need to watch my time here. I can go up to, I think, 25 minutes uh, for this first video, at most, anyway. So, I'm just watching, that's, that's for me to know anyway. It's not actually 25 minutes of actual video. Like, when you're watching this video and you look at the time of the video, it's, it's probably only going to be, like, 19 minutes long. I say 25 minutes because... Um, uh, it, that just works better for me, uh, personally. Oh, it's better, better timing for me to go by. So, 
I've been playing a lot of um, platforming games on the N64 EverDrive recently, as well as playing a couple games I hadn't played before on the PC, um, which were Stardew Valley um, and Ori and the Blind Forest. Ori and the Blind Forest is a beautiful, beautiful game, and I absolutely adore it. And you know what? It, um, I played, uh, what was it? Oh, I'm, I'm missing a switch somewhere. Um, I, I remember playing um, Dust and Elysian Tale, which was another game uh, that had uh, oh, that had sort of a really beautiful uh, visual style, like Ori, um, as well as like great characters and a great story. And I was surprised to find that another game like that actually existed. It was it was a real big shocker to me. Oh, shut up, controller. I, oh, shit. Okay. That was bad. That was real bad. Um, oh, goodness gracious. Uh, damn, I, I can't fail like this. This, this is, this is, uh, this is, this is abysmal. Oh, what the hell? Why is there just a random corner up here? Oh, my God. I might have to cut that. It's me wandering around the fucking thing looking for the switch. Not the console. That would be stupid. That would be a stupid idea. Um, <laughs> I like games. Games are very fun and I like games. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> what the hell? That was a stupid simple rhyme. I'm going to have another drink. I had a drink before the video started. I'm going to have one now. Oh god. This right here is actually my favourite part about the first game um, that I really am disappointed in the second game for. The first game had this really awesome hub world here, like this giant space station. The second game's hub was just a fucking ship that was Mario's face. I mean, that's kind of fucking disappointing, honestly, if you ask me. Um, but, you know, whatever. This game's really awesome, and so is its sequel. And I, I actually... Um, uh, I, I really enjoy all the challenges this game has to offer. I have beat it 100%. I beat both the games 100%. Um, even the trials at the very end with the hardest stars in the game, you know, objectively, and the green stars as well afterwards. Um, but I've only ever done that twice. So, um, and the last time I did that was like th three or four years ago with Mario Galaxy 2. I got all the, st the green stars after getting all the normal stars. So... I, I actually would really like to let's play this game, but the problem with let's playing a game like this just comes in the form of um, can you really be bothered? You know, do you have the time and can you be bothered? I've got a lot of other games that I really want to play for the channel um, before this, and I don't have the time to let's play more than, say, two big games every year. You know, I, I've got a list of games I want to let's play, and, and I can only really afford to do two a year. And that's still stretching my time like butter. And, uh, you know, people have their problems. People, like, on YouTube always have these sorts of issues with scheduling and, and uh, just sort of whether they can be bothered to actually uh, play a certain game or not. But me, I, I just, I know what I want to play already, you know. But I still come across games occasionally that I, I'm like, oh, I'd love to let's play this, but I know I can't because... I've already got plans for the next like three years, four years, and that's if I continue to do YouTube anyway. Anything could happen in the future, and I could end up having to quit on on this hobby. So, but until then, I'm absolutely loving just sort of playing video games, um, and then every now and then making a video of me playing video games. Because you know I don't talk about this often, but I play a lot of games between making these videos. Like, the last time I made a video before this was two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. And between then and now, I've played about maybe five different games. Um, and I've just sort of had a lot of fun uh, with those, um, not recording, you know. And that's what I actually enjoy doing in my spare time, just doing that. And, and sometimes I don't feel like recording. Welcome. This dome acts as an eye of the, ob uh, as an eye of the observatory. Yeah, 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 what, what, what bollocks, what bollocks, what bollocks, lots of bollocks, lots of story, lots of story, but what's the story in Balamori, where would you like to go, what's the story in Balamori, uh, wouldn't you like to know, 
<laughs> there are galaxies that could be observed. Yeah, you know what? Shut up, because I need. I want to do one more star, one more level before I uh, stop this video. Um, so this is the first world you can play in. Um, we can do. I d actually, I don't think we have the time to do this. Um, man, this is. Do you know what? You know what? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. Why not? Why the fuck not? This is Mario Galaxy. I'm never going to let's play it. And there's nothing wrong with a long video. Considering that these gaming shenanigans are pretty much just filler for February. I actually came up with this idea in, in early January. I thought to myself, fucking hell, how am I going to like fill, fill the gap between when I start putting videos up again in February and when the first game I'm going to be let's playing comes out this year. Um, which is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, so, you know, March 3rd. So basically I needed something between uh, February and March. And I thought, well, shit, you know, like, what the fuck can I do? Uh, and I, I came up with this idea. I was like, well, you know what, I could just fill February with gaming shenanigans. All the sort of games that I've wanted to do that I haven't done quite yet, I can just do now uh, in February. And then that way that fills in the time and uh, by the time all of this stuff is done and over with um, I can just jump straight on to uh, Breath of the Wild uh, I'm, I, and, and I can't uh, state enough how absolutely ecstatic I am um, for that game I am absolutely ready uh, for that game oh god uh, ooh, uh, where am I where am I? Where am I? Okay, there you go. I found you. I found you. Oh, goodness. Okay. Yep, we're good. All right. Yeah. Nice. It always feels good to get in those things and shake and, and you know, it always feels good. Oh, God. There's star bits everywhere. Um, oh, God, no. That worked. Uh, can I? What? Whoa, whoa, what happened there? Okay, I'm back. Holy shit. I can't believe I died there. That was remarkable. I don't think I've ever died to that before. I think it was these blue things. I think they were hurting me. Um, you know, it's, it's funny, really. I've been playing games for so many years now, but, like, I still have so much bloody trouble with some games. And you know, I'm I'm not I'm not above um, calling myself out as well um, uh, as being shit at video games because I I am shit at video games in general. You know, I, I shit on myself so much, and I do it simply because I don't want to be like Aaron from Game Grumps. You know, he's he's so full of himself. He actually thinks he's he knows about video games. Dear Lord, you know, like fucking hell, get a grip, man. Um, but, you know, there's there's lots of people like that out there, and I just don't want to be like those people. Um, I don't want to be one of those people that's like, oh, yeah, you know, I know everything about video games. I'm, like, really good at video games, you know. But, you know, I'm good at some video games. You know, like, j just about anybody is good at some video games. But I'm not good at all video games. I just... I know what my weaknesses are, my strengths and weaknesses when it comes to video games, you know. I'm, I'm not above, like, telling people what my weaknesses are. Like, for example, I fucking hate Mario games, like the original 2D Marios anyway, and Donkey Kong Country as well. Like, I love Donkey Kong Country's concept, and I love the gameplay, but I just cannot play it myself. Like, I just cannot get the platforming like like there's lots of 2d platformers that i can get like that like i can really get into um like even um modern 2d platformer marios like super mario bros wii and new super mario bros wii uh, and wii u as well um they are games i can get into 2d marios i can get into um but the old mario is just fucking i can't do it man you know, and, and uh, another example of like uh, a game that isn't 2D, a 3D platformer that I really love but just cannot get into properly is Donkey Kong 64. I fucking love that game and I love everything about it. But my issue with that game is just the fact that I, c I can't get past a certain boss in that game. 
Like, I've tried over and over and over again frequently throughout the course of my life. You know, a couple of years will go by and I'll try again. Um, and that boss is the um, uh, the duck boss, the duck healer boss, or the duck in a box uh, boss. You know, I can't remember his actual name. Fuck, but he's like the duck in a box. And he jumps around in, the, in like in a box and pops out like a jack in a box. Whatever, it, you get the point. If you played Donkey Kong, you know what I'm talking about from like 10 seconds ago. But basically, I can never get past that boss. I've never beaten it in my entire life. The amount of times I've tried and I've never beaten it, I just can't do it. I always have to have someone else do it because it, I just, I can't. So, you know, I, it's not like I don't try. I just sometimes can't do it, you know. Some people just aren't good at games. You know, get good is a real thing. Anyway, so uh, I think that's it for this video. I'm going to stop there for now. Um, this is tutorial garbage here, so I'm just going to get past this quickly. Um, yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. 120. 120. I wish it was a 4, but it's not. Um, and I can shoot my star bits at the thing. Yeah, that's the ticket. All right. Do, do you mind not being a stupid? All right. Mmm, tasty. Let's call those little morsels my fee for this lesson. You fucking capitalist. Uh, you can also shoot them at the enemies or feed them to a hungry luma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't read any of this, this whole video. I couldn't give less of a shit about it for a Game of Shenanigans video. Okay, so, thank you for watching this video, um, and I'll see you in the next one.